Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And today we have a new program. Uh, actually, the, the Muslims, they gave me the idea. Uh, one Muslim, he posted in the comment, uh, text saying, can you take Christian friends seriously? And then it hit me. I said, that's it. That is what is missing. <laughs> and those guys, they call themselves Dawati. So I said to myself, I mean, look at the Muslims. We show them the story in the screen. Christian Prince, he don't claim to be prophet. He don't claim he, he went to the sky. He don't claim that he ride a donkey. He don't claim that a goat spoke to him. He don't claim that a lizard took shahada. He don't claim that a tree walked to him <laughs> and say shahada. <laughs> and yet they say, can you take Christian Prince seriously? Sure you cannot. We have to take Muhammad seriously. I mean, we have to be honest here. Nobody can take Christian Prince seriously. You have to take Muhammad's story seriously. The goat spoke to Muhammad. The goat told Muhammad, don't eat me, don't eat me. I have poisoned. And he ate it already. I mean, don't think it's too late? <laughs> anyway, so we are going to start a new series. It's called, it's called Can You Take uh, Muhammad? Uh, seriously uh, forget about the Muslim making videos about me this is why they take me seriously because if I am no one they will not make videos thousands of videos to try to refute me if, if a big failure uh, before I start uh, you know the, the the Hindu priest said guru he filed a claim of copyright actually I just uh, I just saw it you know in my account copyright owner claim uh, some contact of your video new Islamic sect. Uh, this is the, this is booty booty. This is booty. What is uh, what is sad guru? Hold on sad guru hmm. You remember the booty the guy from Indonesia <laughs> If I had a claim uh, Copyright owner claim some content of your video copyright sad, of sad guru gave a brilliant answer You see this is what happened when you hit and you hit hard and they don't know how to answer you so they file false copyright claim because we have the right to use those you know like i mean what are you talking about this is not a movie and we are criticizing and the law is so clear but anyway file as much as you want the video is all over and people are laughing now uh in the front of us today in our first uh, start of a series the story of Muhammad uh, speaking about a, you know a group of Jews who live in an island maybe it's Hawaii and those Jews Allah he taught them not to do fishing in Saturday not to do what not to do fishing in Saturday Hmm. And because Allah, He made the fish does not appear or doesn't come to them in Saturday, it comes all the week. Those people, they get hungry. And then at the end, they decide to do fishing in Saturday. The fish used to come to them every day in the week, except Saturday. And not only that, the fish, they jump in the front of them and they say to them, ah, 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 you cannot fish us, it is Saturday. It is what? It is Saturday. The fish, they knew. So the story says that the fish, when it is Saturday, they come and they dance in the front of them and the Jews, they cannot get them because simply it is Saturday. As you see in this brilliant cartoon <clears throat> so here you see a story make a lot of sense and it must be a true story we have to take this story seriously and we have to learn from it that if you do fishing in Saturday you are in trouble and then those Jews because they did fishing in Saturday because they got so hungry and they want to feed their kids and it was Allah playing game and this is the Surah and you know you can read it then Allah 
he punished those people who did fishing in Saturday he made them pigs and monkeys now we have to accept that this is a true story and we have to take it seriously and I see this is the reference Bukhari variant etc chapter 32 pages whatever so this is a true story and by the way this is mentioned in the Quran <clears throat> If you go in the Quran, you will find this the same story in chapter 7, verse number 163. Where Allah, he, uh, he punished those people who did fishing in Saturday, uh, and he made them uh, pigs and monkeys. Why you do that? Why you break the command of Allah, and you do fishing in Saturday? And the story go in details in Islamic books, and they say to us, that Allah he made their fish and their whales this appear in the whole week but yet it come to them only in the day of Saturday here it says <clears throat> uh, they would tran transgress their fish would come to them on the day of their Sabbath floating at the surface visible at the surface of the water but on that day they did not observe the Sabbath. So those guys, Allah, he made it as a trick. He made the fish disappear all the week. He made the fish appear only on Saturday. So now they cannot do any fishing except in Saturday. And now they did fishing on Saturday. So Allah, he ordered them to be pigs and monkeys. We have to agree that Muhammad is a genius. We have to. I mean, if you think about it, who come with such a story unless he is a genius? But we find that this story, Muhammad is copying it from the legions of people before him as usual. Muhammad is just a thief. Muhammad is just a thief. If we ask any Muslim from those who claim that they have degree, PhD, forget about a person who don't have education. What is your response to such a story in the Quran? Where it says those who do broke the Sabbath <clears throat> in chapter 2 verse number 65, Allah made them pigs and monkeys. What is your response to this? He will say this is a true story. You will see a person who wear uh, a suit, he have a degree, he teach maybe even in, in, in university in USA. He would say to you, this is a true story. I would like to take Muhammad seriously. But how I can do that? Because look what happened. As long Allah will make the one who break the Sabbath big and monkey just because he did fishing in Saturday to feed his kids. Why Allah don't make the one who rib women pigs and monkeys? Okay, maybe Allah will not make them pigs and monkeys for raping women during the week. But what about a man he rape a woman during Saturday? What about a man he is a child molester? What about a man who is a criminal? Who kidnap, who steal? What about drug dealers who do business on Saturday? Allah will make a nation, pigs and monkeys, for fishing in Saturday. But if you rape in Saturday, Allah don't even, he don't, that's it, he do nothing. Fishing in Saturday is the problem. So if we ask ourselves who we should take seriously, I don't know how smart you are. I don't know how educated you are. This is your business. But can you accept such a stupid logic? Right now, as we speak, there's Jewish. They go every Saturday. Actually, in Jerusalem, they have a big festival. They do every few years for homosexuality in Saturday. So they do festival for homosexuality in Saturday, and Allah did not make them pigs and monkeys. But yet, those who did fishing from the Jews in Saturday, Allah made them pigs and monkeys.
here not only we cannot take Muhammad seriously, here we can take Muhammad as a fraud. You see, Muhammad is not saying, I heard a story about this. Muhammad is claiming that this is a true story and Allah told him the story as we showed you in the Quran. In two verses in the Quran. And this is chapter two, verse number 65. And you wanna see details, you go and read the story in chapter seven, verse 163. And you can read any interpretation of any Muslim scholar you want. And all the Muslims agree that this is really exactly what Muhammad meant. Can we take Muhammad seriously? Me, myself, I cannot. Anyone have a brain and he use it, he cannot take Muhammad seriously. When a story is made, the story have a logic. When a story is made, the story have a reason. When a story have a, is made, let's say, you know, like a prophet, they come and they speak in a metaphorical way. This is not metaphorical way. Not a single Muslim say this was metaphorical. So if, they, if somebody tried to fool you, this is about something physically happened. They did fishing on Saturday. Allah turned them into pigs and monkeys. And as long as the day of Saturday is very serious for Allah, so why are the Muslims working on Saturday? You see, the Muslims, they have a lot of funny logic in their cult. They say to you, why you don't observe Saturday? But they don't. Not only that, they eat camel. Not only that, they drink camel milk. Not only that, they drink camel urine. So their logic is, we are the one following Musas by not eating pig, but they don't tell us why they don't eat pigs. I mean, what the logic behind it? trying to copy the Jews, but you eat camel, you drink camel milk, and you drink camel urine. And you work in Saturday. So how you are following Musa? When somebody speak about logic, and he is a Muslim, I question, uh, his ability of thinking. What the word logic mean? How a Muslim can speak about logic and we have all this madness? You see, we are creating a theories now of can you take Muhammad seriously? This is number one about the Jewish and the monkeys. I will make many, 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 and we will make them short so you guys can download them and share them easy. But if you are watching here for the first time, if I come to you and I tell you such a story, that there's a group of people who disable Allah and they did fishing in Saturday when Allah told them don't do fishing in Saturday. And they did fishing in Saturday. So they wake up in the morning and they found themselves, all of them, they are pigs. So uh, let me introduce to you, uh, just uh, you know, because you might be confused about now how to recognize our friends, you know. Uh, here, uh, if you see in the picture, this is a selfie we took it long time ago, okay. Uh, this uh, brother there, his name is Jack Shalom. This is Jack Shalom. This is after he did fishing Saturday. And actually, if you look at him, by the way, he looked the same. I mean, still, I, I, the, the reason I was able to recognize him is the hat. You have a hat. Hmm? This guy is Menahim. How I know this is Menahim? Menahim always, he liked to lick his tongue. Here we go. I know him. This guy is Netanyahu. How I knew it's Netanyahu, always he scratch his head. You know, it must be Netanyahu. This one here is the wife of Netanyahu. How I know, always she lick her finger. Isn't it obvious that Muhammad is telling the truth? So when a Muslim he speak about taking somebody seriously, we cannot take anything about your filthy book seriously, because this is very filthy, by the way. Putting down the Jews, making them pigs and monkeys, just because they expose Muhammad and they refuse him. Imagine if it's us who say such a thing about Muslims. Ah, oh, racism, hateful teaching, teaching hate, etc. They say you are pig, you are monkey, you are filthy, 
there is no gozun to Mecca and it's okay. It's okay as long as they are the one who's teaching. This is what they teach their children. This is why if you when you, see, when you hear a Muslim speaking about Jews, they say the sons of pigs and monkeys. This is what they teach their children in schools. This is what you hear in the school of Hamas. I cannot take Islam seriously, but I can take the stupidity seriously. There's somebody who's willing to kill you for the seriously stupid story of Muhammad. There is seriously somebody is willing to commit suicide, suicide bombing, just because he followed Muhammad and he believed in such a garbage. So we cannot take Muhammad seriously in stories. He's a stupid, he's a liar, he's a fraud, it's obvious. He's a fair, fairy tale storyteller. But we have to take such a cult seriously because there's many dummy people who believe in it and they are willing to die for it. I want to say thank you for the Muslims who gave me the idea of creating such a theory, sorry, a, a series, uh, called, Can You Take Muhammad Stories Seriously? And this is number one, inspired by Muslims. Uh, I am really grateful for them. Thank you for inspiring me. And I will make a new Quran. And uh, I by the way, uh, I want to go do fishing Saturday, and I will take my camera with me. I want to see what will happen to me when I do fishing in Saturday. And by the way, I notice that in Saturday, when I go to do fishing, the fish, they jump in front of me in the water, the sacred Christian prince, ah, 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 it is Saturday, you cannot fish us. And I say to myself, oh boy, I mean, this is not even fair. They come and dance and look, look at this fish here. She is jumping out and like, like, you know, like you cannot touch us. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Look, look at this fish. She is like two meter high. And the Jew is saying like, come on, don't do that to us. Stop doing this. You know, and, uh, the fish come to them in Saturday. They, they come, they come to them. This is what the, the, the story says. It, the fish come to them in Saturday. So, to understand this story in a very simple way, Allah told the Jews not to do fishing on Saturday. Then, all the week, the fish don't come, as we saw in the, inter the Muslim interpretation. And actually, the Quran says that. And then, in Saturday, Allah, He ordered the fish to go to the Jews. They go to the beach, and they start doing belly, belly dancing. You cannot touch us. And the Jews got so upset. First week, second week, they are getting hungry. They want to eat. They want to feed their children. But there is no fish. And the fish come in Saturday. So they decide to do fishing in Saturday. And bingo. The second they decide to do fishing in Saturday, Allah turned them into pigs and monkeys. Those poor people, they woke up in the morning and they found themselves pigs and monkeys. Now we have to think about it carefully that this is a very, very trustworthy, true story, proving scientifically, very accurate. We can view how this happened even by using satellite or 5G internet or even by using telescope. According to scientific studies, we found that a bunch of monkeys they are obviously from those people who did fishing in Saturday used to be Jews. How we knew that? First, they, uh, they have a rabbi. His name is Mr. Gorilla. His wife, Mrs. Chapanzi. Do you remember the doctor who wanted to prove to us that this story is true? A doctor from Gaza, from Hamas, he said, if we, if we look at the behavior of the monkeys, we find that they are filthy. As an example, the only animal they have sex with their mother is monkeys. The only animal they have sex with their mother is monkeys, and that is to prove to us that they are Jews. Remember, I made a video about it, you can search it. The video, his video, it's called Why Allah Forbid to Eat Swine, Doctor, whatever his name, I forgot. And as usual, they file copyright claim because they are coward. 
So, brother, if you observe the uh, the behavior of uh, the the monkeys, you will find that they have a very disturbing behavior. As an example, they are the only animal they eat their feces. And now he's trying to prove to us that those are Jews. Remember, so how he proved that they eat their feces? Why the Jews eat their feces? A brother, and they are the only animal they have sex with their parent. Really? They are the only animal they have sex with the parent. <laughs> My friends, Islam is amazing, stupid religion. The second you became part of it, you lose your brain. I cannot call Zakir Naik now. He told me not to call him, but I can try. Uh, you know, if we are Zakir Naik, actually, what do you think about this story? He will say, Christopher Prince, first of all, you are misquoting the story. And the story is very serious. Uh, Zakir, what I'm misquoting the story? I'm showing the verses, showing the interpretation, how I misquote. How would you know how we misquote it? First of all, Allah, he ordered the doeth not to do fitting in Saturday. He did not say to them not to fit in the rest of the week. Okay, we know that. Exactly. So they can attend, you know, and do the fit at the end of the week. I don't understand what. So they can do the at the end of the week. Exactly. I don't understand what you are saying. Okay. I understand you are very slow. Okay, I got that one. Exactly. And I want to say to you that if Allah he ordered them to fit in the old week, why they are fitting in Saturday? Yeah, but it says there that Allah he did not make the fish come to them. So that is, the, the ocean is empty from the fish. They go. Exactly. That means they have to do something else. You can go to the grocery store and you can buy sardine. Uh, go where? To the grocery store. As an example, you go to fit in Saturday and there is no, you know, and you cannot fit in Saturday. And there is no fit in the, during the week. And you need to eat. And you are hungry. You can go and buy sardine. Sardine is very cheap. Uh, uh, buy a sardine from where? From the grocery store. But this is 3,000 years ago. At that time, there's no grocery store. First of all, Christian Prince, you are ignorant. Those are those people. Wherever they go, they open a grocery store. Oh, what? The, wherever they go, they open a grocery store. Exactly. There are two things that those they do. They open a bank, and they make visa card, and they open a grocery store. Yeah. They open bank and credit card and grocery store. It, like, there is a proof of it. Exactly. There is a lot of proof. Bank of America, Visa card, Mastercard. All of them they're about to do it. It was like an egg. This is done. This is now. What about the? We're talking about three thousand years ago. What are you talking about? Great print. Nothing faint. History repeats itself, and this is proven to be scientifically accurate. Okay, but. Uh, why Allah don't make somebody rape a woman in Saturday a pig? I mean today, but yet he will make somebody or a nation who did fishing in Saturday a pig. I will explain to you. Because raping women in Saturday did not have the same impact as doing fishing in Saturday. Oh, it doesn't have the same impact, how? As an example, if a woman gets raped in Saturday, what happened? Uh, she got raped. Exactly. But if a man, he did fitting in Saturday, what happened? He did fishing. Exactly. And this is why fitting is more important. But what do you mean? It's not explain anything. Christian Prince, there's nothing to explain. This is how Islam is. If you try to explain it, you make it look like poo-poo. I can explain it to you. Take it or leave it. Or else. Uh, are you threatening me? Exactly. And the Mujahideen, they will find you. And praise be to Allah, Allah Akbar. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the question is, can we take Islam seriously? Can we take Muhammad seriously? Can you convert to Islam seriously? Seriously, if you convert to Islam, or if you believe in Islam, you have a serious problem. Seriously. If you believe in such a garbage, you are a person who decides to put his head, his brain in the shelf. Seriously. You are a person who is out of logic. You decide to be dummy. 
and anything for you, even if it's poo-poo, it's yummy. Seriously. So, feel free to download the video. I'm not going to make it long, so you people can download it, share it, add subtitle, making it short is better. And please invite your friends. And if you like to uh, always get updated about what we do and when we go live, so you can join us if you are watching this video in different channel. Always you can join us and subscribe to Patreon. Uh, as you see the link in the top and uh, you can subscribe you do not need to donate uh, just to be updated about when we will go live and for sure we welcome people who support us in what we do and make donation i want to say thank you very much for being here uh, as you see islam is an amazing religion and we cannot deny that and me myself i'm going to go fishing next saturday and i want to go back and prove to you that Allah is a true God. Anyone in the world, he do fishing on Saturday, Allah he turn him into a monkey. You cannot do that. You cannot do fishing on Saturday. No fishing on Saturday, that's it, Allah rule. You can rape on Saturday, you can kill on Saturday. You can do child molestation on Saturday. You can do anything you want. You can go to night club on Saturday, you can shake your booty on Saturday, you can do drugs on Saturday, but you cannot do fishing on Saturday because fishing is a very ugly, bad behavior. Shame on you. How dare you to do fishing on Saturday? And now, because you disobey Allah, look what happened to our brother, Jack Shalom. Look at him. Hey, Jack. I wish I speak your language now. Jack, I will visit you. I will bring you a banana. Look, our brother Netanyahu. Look what happened to him. He is scratching his head what I did to myself. I wanted to be a prime minister again. Look what happened to his wife. She thinks her finger now is lipstick and she is putting it there. We feel bad for our friends who disobey Allah. Why you do fishing on Saturday? Here we go. You took the fish and you are happy. You go home, you wake up in the morning, you find yourself a monkey. Why you want to do that yourself? Why? Shouldn't you think carefully? Jack Shalom? If we call Jack Shalom in, <clears throat> in the jungle, because now he's in the jungle, he cannot live between us, you know, he's, remember, he's, uh, Allah turned him to be a monkey. What you will say? <laughs> Jack, what are you doing? What is that? Uh, can you like use your finger and write for me? Do you know how to write? Hmm? Uh, uh, he say, okay, I'm reading for only what Jack he said. Please don't do my mistake and do fishing in Saturday. Oh no, Jack, I will not do that. Are you kidding me? Um, no, no way. That's it. I will not do fishing in Saturday. We will do all the crazy stuff in Saturday, but no fishing. Drugs. Sexuality, drinking, stealing, but no fishing, brother, no way. That's it. We knew now what make Allah angry. Don't make Allah angry, otherwise he will make you a monkey. Well, or he might make you Joe Biden. Choose one. So I want to say, Thank you, Muslims, for giving us an idea. Islam is the most stupid religion. And I challenge you to refute us in what we say. Here we go, make a thousand videos. And by the way, after I finish live, you will see the Muslims posting their comment. We refuted you. We can refute you. The Muslim refuted you. All of them refuted me, but nobody dared to call me. All of them, they refute me. I mean, refute me about what? Are you crazy? Good luck with that. Please promise me to download the video, add subtitle, and please don't forget to say thank you, Zakir Naik, because he was our guest today. By the way, there's a video, a Christian prince debating Zakir Naik, you know. The Muslim, they say, this is fabrication, this is fabrication. You, you idiot, it's a cartoon. The funny, when we make a cartoon for fun, they say it's fabrication. When we show them the, the, what they believe in it, they say it's not fabrication. A phone call, which is obviously Christian Prince making the voice of Zachary Naik. This is, this is Sabi Kissin. This is not the true. This is not Zachary Naik. This is brother. He's lying to you. You know, so we are laughing 
and this is fabrication and the story in front of you is not a fabrication i mean what what happened to the intelligence of a human being i see the monkey talking there uh, zach and Mag, do you want to say anything before we leave Please breath first of all i want to say thank you for calling me and secondly don't ever call me again but you just said thank you for calling me so why you are saying don't call me again i will trade you each time you call me i lose my patent and i want to curse you and i'm forbidden in Islam to curse anyone except the christian and the dude and the hindu and the gay and the lesbian and every my neighbor and all the back all the indian and uh, zach and Nike, you are cursing everybody now so what you are saying you should not curse anyone exactly we are muslim we are forbidden to curse people uh, but you just get curse all the whole world you just you just count for me six billion human being exactly because those are not considered people people in islam are the only muslim okay but i am not a muslim exactly so i can curse you may allah curse you and may allah make you uh, uh, you know a camel as i can i noticed there is something in my back what do you think this is exactly allah akbar it's a miracle you get a hump i get what a hump what do you think this is like Allah is polishing me now? Hump is something happening to you exactly as we speak right now at the point of being from Allah. And from now now in the end, you will speak like a camel. And I'll get it to you. If you take a selfie and I turn you, you take a selfie and post it to Facebook, you will see that your lips became like a lift of the camel by the morning. Zach and I, but it's your lips who look like the queer, not my lips. Give your breath. Show some respect. I'm created by Allah. Okay, if I'm, but suppose I'm created by Allah too. So why are you making fun of my look? I can make fun of you look. Because Allah in the Quran in chapter 18, chapter 18, it said that Allah make you the, the, the same animal. It is what, what? The same as an animal. So we are same as animals. Yes, he said, kill an am. Kill what? Kill an am. Ah, an am. Ah, okay. Well, Zach and I, thank you for your uh, uh, priceless uh, input in this topic. Actually, we love everything you say. It's so beautiful. And you are genius. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, <clears throat> the reason they call you genius because, uh, as I remember, your prophet he explained it in a very well way. He said there was a girl. Her name is Jean, and each time she uh, they ask her to like to listen to Quran, she say yes. And this is where the word genius uh, uh, came from. Exactly, president. And this is the proof of the point that Islam is a genius prophet, and we have a genius prophet, and Allah is genius. Uh, so Allah is genius. Exactly. So he's Gene. Exactly. Yes. We can see it. Thank you very much. All right, guys. I want to say thank you for being with us and Zach and Naik. And we invite you to uh, join us in what we do. Uh, download the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and tell everybody about what we do. And what we do is a priceless. And for those who speak languages like Malay language, Indonesian language, Russian language, uh, uh, Albanian language. We have our my books for free translated to the other languages, and uh, maybe the admin they can post the links for them so you can download those books for free as a gift from me. May the Lord bless you all, and please be careful when you do fishing. Do fishing all the week, but don't do fishing on Saturday. You don't want to go back like a monkey to your wife. Trust me, she will replace you with the first chimpanzee. Take care. God bless, and Islam. And Muhammad is someone we can't take for sure, for sure, seriously. Who can deny that? No one. God bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. Take care.